building over there which was used for scientific experiments. Somebody suggested that this place is used by the SAS for training. Yeah, this place has been used for animal testing, biological weapons testing, chemical weapons testing. So this is you know, definitely a place that would have been hyper secret and you wouldn't have got near in the day. You know, This would have definitely been somewhere you couldn't have got anywhere near. Holy crap, it is chairmail. Oh, wow. Look at that, it's actual chainmail on the walls. Really like the flaps. Clearly it was not meant to be played around. I think you're right, this is serious. Is that sort of body armor and blood? Body armor. That's definitely blood, isn't that it? That is blood. It's definitely blood armor. What were they keeping inside here? They really didn't want anything getting out of this lab. We're sorry, we've got a go! We've got a go! Oh, this is how it all begins. 5 a.m. I'll speak to you when I wake up a little bit more. You already know, all adventures start in a travel lodge lift. <laughs> right now my fuel has just arrived. I'm super tired. I love I'm with it right now. Let's go. This is Andrew talking to himself. He, he never knows how to use the machines. <laughs> Yes, sir. Maximum stay of two hours. Yeah, it, no, it's around the back, bro. Oh. Wait, okay. Well, then you guide me. I don't know, I just said around the back. Okay, so do you know where it is? Oh, by the way, Andrew's here, everyone. You what? I'm saying you're here, by the way. I am here. Yeah, Andrew's yeah. here. Oh, Ma Matthew Williams is here as well. I don't know if you saw Matthew in the back. Take my silly glasses off. Hi. Okay, so parking's in the back. Yeah, around the back somewhere. Uh, probably just Turn right and turn right again. Right, let's give that a go. Still talking to himself. Now, Matthew believes he's gone for a wander. He believes there's a secret bunk here, right underneath the pet training centre. <laughs> I just walked in. <laughs> it's, it's typical Matt for you. I just you know. walked straight in. Every time we go on these adventures, he just goes wandering off. <laughs> I wonder where he's gone. He's in the pet training centre, though. You never know. He might, you might find like an extra war room just below everything, wide open. <laughs> Maybe they keep like, the poodles. Well, he's got his uh, lucky orange camos on, so it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, some dodgy's going on. He's. What's he found? No, that that could possibly be something there, but. Um, there's a place in Shrewsbury, and they've got a vet, and that's in the old, um, uh, what do you call it, Royal Observer Corps Regional Headquarters. So it's on the, whoa, bloody hell, glasses off. Sorry, I've done my glasses like this. Right, on to the next one, boys. Matthew's my, my seen it to us. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. So Matthew, tell us a little bit about this place. Well, we came here at night and it was really weird because there was um, a building over there which was used for scientific experiments and we, we got in and we, we climbed down through a lift shaft downwards but we hadn't dropped down into the actual facility itself and whilst we were there ch chatting we heard um, footsteps, crunching of glass like under footsteps, crunch, and then uh, we heard a door open, keys jangling and then it's sort of like we all went, oh, shit, let's get out here. And there was no light, there was no beam of a torch, and it was pitch dark. We were the only ones with torches, and nobody had a torch, and everyone just said, how was that person there in the dark? Now, that is the only part of the buildings on the whole of the site that's got asbestos things to stop you going in there, like little plastic things that say, don't enter asbestos. So somebody was trying to maybe put us off by seeing those asbestos signs there. They were on the inside of that, is there something there they don't want us to see? But there was theories that it could be someone walking around in there with night vision goggles on. Well, we did say, how can anyone see? If they're walking around at night and they're able to see, 
then they've got to have night vision goggles. So somebody suggested that this place is used by the SAS for training. And that's a possibility that maybe somebody's here with night vision, but I mean, it's a bit freaky, isn't it? I mean, yeah. we all felt bad. Like, I mean, you know, we could have just said, oh, screw it. Like, who's that down there? Like, you know, but we all, we all had this feeling of like, get the hell out of there. One of those sort of feelings you get sometimes, and I didn't want to hang around. But and what was it used for before that? It was like sin a lot of sinister stuff, like animal testing and... Yeah, this place has been used for animal testing, biological weapons testing, chemical weapons testing. So this is, you know, definitely a place that would have been hyper secret and you wouldn't have got near in the day, you know, this would have definitely been somewhere you couldn't have got anywhere near. But it's all disused now and it's all being smashed up. There's even some documents still in there, you know, there's bits and pieces and, and the labs are all still there. So you can see where the animals were, were experimented on, you know, the test uh, cages and things like that, where they would have gone. That's crazy. So you even said that they, they, they probably did have the Ebola virus here at one point as well. Yeah, people have said to me that some of they because they work in the medical industry, they've looked at those types of uh, lab equipment and the lab testing areas, and they've said that's the most expensive, high quality lab testing equipment in the world. You know, it's like okay. sort of it's it's the and that's still low. It's still there. Yeah. Okay. Now you can't you can't pay money cannot buy you better or more sophisticated than the types of equipment that was in there so obviously you know they meant business with whatever they were testing secret vault take two Go. that's the spooky place we can go in there in the day we'll go in a spooky place first hell yeah let's go in a spooky place then Wow, this place is massive. So we're here just in time. This place is literally getting knocked down. Hence the reason why I've given out the name of the place. Into the darkness we go. Go so that way, that way. Well, I think it's probably going to be more than a minute. Yeah. Well, inside there? Yep. Really? Well, yeah. Why would they need an EMP shield? Oh, right? Oh, wow. Because if they, if, if uh, like terrorists or whatever set off an EMP. That means they have important data in here. Yeah, exactly. Very important data in here. Yeah, so that's nothing we've got flying in there, would it? Oh, yeah, it's like chainmail on the walls. It's chainmail? Holy crap, it is chainmail. Yeah. Probably. Wow. Probably Look at that, it's actual chainmail on the walls. And then we swap this in here. Down and do, or down the game. <laughs> I said 50 quid, I'm doing a live stream, sorry. Good to let you out of the EMP room. <laughs> <laughs> EMP. See which one eats each other first. Wait. Does that mean, you, it, theoretically, would it still be able to pick a Wi Fi through here? Uh, let's I, try it. I have the, Wi Fi. The thing right is, now. when you've got Wi Fi, but you shouldn't have Wi Fi, you should have. Yeah, uh, but the thing uh, is, they've not got it on the, on the roof. Uh, yeah. They've taken off. the chain off the top down, look. Like. Yeah. Because uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be sealed if it didn't have the roof done as well. So, That's crazy. Never seen that before. That. But it could be for a system called Tempest as well. Because Tempest is that people could be outside with a, a van and they can have an aerial pointing at this building and they can be picking up what's going off the service. Oh, right, okay. off it. So the British military protect their equipment against Tempest attacks. Interesting. And uh, this is why I think this is an old base because these things are old school. So I think they built this base on top of an older base because this old Ampere equipment, you know, that's that's like 1940s, 1950s, that sort of stuff. Wow. So this is where we we got into before. We got on the roof and we climbed down. And if you go in at the ground floor of this building you'll see that it's got um, plastic to stop you going into the far section. And that's the bit we never got in, the far section. Let's go for that one. Watch out for booby traps. 
It's, it is very quiet, almost too quiet. Do you really want to step on it? Own air filtration equipment for this building. Alright, yeah, we've seen those before. Yeah. We've seen, yeah, actually, very similar to the ones I uh, did a few years back in the uh, uh, Rover MG uh, factory. Uh, yeah, it does look relatively new. Have you gone down here? Have you been down the tunnels? Have you gone down here yet? Yeah, Underground. Lower level, that's for sure. Flip flooded. I'm getting. I'm getting. I don't know. Is it? No, maybe it's not. No, it's flooded. It is. Well, it, it is flooded at the lowest point. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, this And then we all go down there. Like, is it a really good idea to go and try and save him? And we're like, Andrew, Andrew, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is me going. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I will be honest. If there's any power in here, because all the breakers are in. And if anything is touching this water, this water might be dangerous to walk Yeah, through. it's best to be on the safe side then, but... Though, it's cool. But then again, I mean, I'm saying that something metal and not being shocked. There is a lot of wires in there, though. Yeah, but you've got rubber. Once you wet your, your boots, then you'll be conductive, then. I think it's all... I heard that. I can hear some down there. Person, dude. Sounds like there's a person down here in this basement. No way. Wait, you guys want to come down with Right, No, I'm going to leave you down there. Good luck. We can come down the stairs with you? We can have a look up because the stairs are easy to navigate. It's just the water at the bottom is the problem. Yeah, I'm not touching the water. It's... And that's below ground level where you're in now. So, this place is full of mysteries, like we are exploring this place and exploring the mysteries that it holds. Obviously you heard what Matt said, animal testing, biological weapons, biological warfare, all that kind of stuff, viruses, we're all made and contained here. We don't know what's here now. So it's going to be a case of looking around, seeing what we find, seeing what things were used for, what Weird. Really weird. What do you mean afraid of heights, Andrew? <laughs> the amount of stuff we've done. Very steep them stairs. Yeah, 
old filters. better look from here. This is basically just a filter room this, ventilation and filter. Well, they will. They'll need to. They'll need to. Imagine all the all the things you need to. F I just don't want to touch the um, to touch the air filters. Yeah. Yeah. No idea what's inside those. Why is there radiation warnings? What's giving off radiation? Oh, is there radiation warning? Right over yeah. there. Danger. Radiation risk. Ah, uh, this will be this will be full. Uh, this will be the dangerous labs then. Yeah, that'll be fil uh, filters for the. Uh, They'll have radioactive isotopes and they're working with inside the. Uh, the, the so this ventilation. So this is the ventilation for the for the yeah. for the radioactive labs. Yeah. Can we get can we get two? Yeah, just follow the vents. Yeah. Well, Ooh, we can go back blown. inside the building in a minute. That's blowing quite strongly on you as you walk by. Back oh, yeah. yeah, this is quite serious. Wow. Yeah, this uh, clearly was not meant to be played around there. I think you're right, this is serious. Oh, wow. oh, by the way, fighters, I'm wearing the merch hat. The merch hoodie, you already know. EDBFOfficial.com. Get over and get, I think there's only 10 hats left. Grab them while you can. Whoa. Hey Dan. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Above ground tunnels. Okay, I'm down. Let's go. Definitely a falling risk, guys, so be aware. Yeah, like down. Yeah, if you fall down, you're, you're done for. So. so don't trip on anything. There you go. Okay, so. Now, were you, you standing on something solid there? Yeah, I think so. Solid? So that, I don't know how much weight is No, 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 no. Look, is that solid? Is that cement? It's not, it's plaster. I don't think get off that, bro. Get off it, get off it, get off it. Plaster. It's very slow. Plaster and insulation. I don't know if it is solid. Yeah, it's safe. Maybe we have a slight scare. We're all right. Is that, is that the roof? Yeah. We can go up one floor higher to the roof. Now, there are people in, in over there, so you might see us, so you might want yeah, to. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. We don't want to get caught. Before we've done very much. Yeah. yeah. This car's coming in and out all the time, so. Yeah, it's not, not worth it. Which building are you? If we go up there, we can duck down and go to where we, we went into the lift shaft if you want, so I can show you exactly where we had the, the weird experience. Well, what's the, let's give him a look for a second at least. You just don't want to get seen, bro. Okay, we've we'll ended up on the roof. Now, if you were to go in the lift shaft, you could climb down, but if we go here, you won't have to climb down. Okay. 
again, name one other paranormal channel that'll be doing stuff like this. They look quite steep. I don't know. Those who don't know, who keep coming and saying, get boots on. These are 511 tactical boots. These are what I wear on all my explorers. Unless I forget them. Once you guys are in here, I want to call out, see if there really is a monster in there. He said that as far as they knew, there was no way anyone could have gotten in. Oh, there's something or somebody in there. This is our zombie, guys. This is our mutant. Is we were hearing crunching glass yeah. as well. Like crunch foot, crunch foot, crunch foot. You gotta find a way down there. We absolutely have to find a way down there. Maybe behind you there's a ladder. There's a ladder behind you. Guys, this is where Matt and Bertha Stream's noises. And funny enough, now we're here, we're hearing the same stream's noises. We need to get down there and we need to check out. It's just wind. You can tell that's just like repetitive wind noise. We heard jangling keys, crunching glass, footsteps. So it's not quite the same thing. Well, let's give it a listen. I say, give it a listen for a minute and let's just see what happens. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's moving, but it was over there. Now it's over there. Hi. Is that an alarm? No. It was that some point. Ooh. Yeah, it's a nice one, man. And again. Train. Did you hear that big bang, though? Do you think that's a train? It sounds like... Possibly a train. Possibly a train. It feels like we're in a tunnel. Look at the lime deposits dropping from the roof. Yeah. That's yeah, weird. So we've, got two, we've got two choices. We can go back up on the roof and down the stairs to this floor and find where this is underneath. Oh, I see. It, we, I didn't even realise it went that far. Oh. Is that that way? Yeah, the buildings connect. This is the stairwell. The stairwell is there, isn't it? Yeah. So if that's the stairwell, somebody might have been coming across here to get to the stairs to go down. Yeah. They couldn't come up, they couldn't get us because we're in this crawl space above. Some sort of flak jacket or something, isn't it? It is, it's body armour. But look sort. at this, there's blood on the ground too. Is that so body armour and blood? Body armor. That's that. definitely blood, isn't that it? That is blood. That's definitely a body armor. And th that is blood. Somebody lost a good amount here. There's some more right next to you. How's this? Is still this is getting... wait, wait, is that radiation protection or is that a stab vest? It could be a stab. It could be. What's, what's oh. best of bell protection? Best of bell. Someone Google that for me, please. Best Someone go Google that and put it in the comments. We need to know what that is. Yeah, what, what is, what is this is really like, it's like a murder mystery almost. All the mystery of this place. Bro, it's a pound of pure unadulterated cocaine. What is that? I don't know, but it looks like a, a package of cocaine, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Wow. What the hell is that? Maybe we should find out what that is. Yeah, they deal with poisonous substances. Here. Yeah, maybe we yeah, shouldn't. Don't really maybe we shouldn't mess with it. Let's not find out what that is. Could be a, it could be a cyber soldier. Yeah, it could be. It could be a bloody Dalek headquarters, this thing. Dalek <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, for laughs> <Dalek's> headquarters. <laughs> I mean, what would you do, honestly, if we looked down there and all of a sudden a Dalek roll past? Would you run? I think maybe they, maybe BBC... Uh, maybe BBC TV stuff was actually more like a documentary than a, <laughs> than a television drama. Yeah. Cool. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's a guy on a treadmill right down in the distance. It's not focusing, but. Go 
go down another level, Matt. Matt. You reckon? One more level, yeah. You reckon that? Yeah, yeah. It would be one more level. Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, you have got some lads, but they're, they're old school lads. Oh, yeah. You know, these are like just, you know, generic. It's creepy in here. We came down here. See, see in front of you, we've got the asbestos don't enter beyond this point plastic. And that's what stops you getting to the, the stairs from this part of the building into the next part of the building. You guys, no. check this out. There's an airlock. Why is there an airlock back here? What the hell? Well, you have to walk through all of that yeah. to get into that part. Wow. And that's where the noises are coming from. That's what it is, isn't it? Mm. That means there's a spare spot in there. Uh, well, if they have five airlock doors... That's why that's there, though. I'm pretty sure it's probably pretty bad back there. Should we go, then? Stay yeah, let's do it. Go. Do you really think it, it's, a good it's sealed. Halfway through, you can't get through because it's a, it's a oh, solid cool. piece of plastic. You'd have to really? put it with a knife. Oh, so you've tried? Yeah. So you can go in there, but you won't get through. through. But guess what? You what? can actually walk around to the other side by going into this room. But you cannot get into the, the bit that you oh, want, which yeah, is left. Sealed it, right? Yeah, it's sealed. There you go. This is starting to remind me of a film I watched when I was a kid. What film? E.T. <laughs> E.T. Yeah. See? Now, oh, snap. Where is it? We can come around here and we get to the other side of it. Oh, that's for sealed But for some reason, for some reason, they don't want you walking through that bit. I don't get oh, it. Interesting. It. Have you walked this already? We've got to be below that banging now. Yes. Well, the banging is putting that part of the building further over there. But we, there's no ways through from the doors from this building to the next one over there. So, somebody just taking out the door. Ah, look at that. Someone's taking out that Seal. This is a weird one. A lot of people take photos of this thing on the other side of that. Oh, what is that? It's like a drill or something. What's what's the hole? What's... What the hell is that? Someone sh must know, but it's where it's doing. It's running hydrofluoric acid for it. Matt, any ideas? Got no idea, mate. No idea. They're running chemicals into here. Well, they're running hydrofluoric acid for it. Yeah. Chemicals, pressure like gauges. This thing can be raised up or down for some reason. I don't know why that Does anyone up. know what this is? Leave, this. leave your thoughts in the comments right now. Let me know. This is a motor here. So this central shaft comes this into here. It spins something and stirs something. And then maybe there's this on the bottom. Is a it's a collection chamber and stuff drops out. Stuff drops out of here, down. There's a some sort of valve or something. I don't know. Micro switches, micro read switches there. It's glass. No, uh, what, what, what actually, would the hole be for? There's a heating element there or something. Is it a heating element? Yeah, it, element? Uh, it will one of them, yeah. It looks like it's some sort of heating element to heat, but this is not sealed. So it looks like there might be a flame in there, like some sort of flame or something. Maybe they're dropping gas down here, setting fire to it in here. God knows. Oh, but what was me? What was the hole used for? These are cable ducts. They're all over the building. Oh, so it runs off. Yeah, you can put cables from lab to lab here. It just looked like a pit, and I saw these yeah. metal where they bands. Keep the zombie yeah, where they keep the experiments. Where they keep the experiments while they test on them with this machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they probably float them down there. Can you guys smell how weird it smells like? It does smell weird. Like, really weird. That's where it comes out. Oh, look, the old mask. Old tube tubs and stuff as well. Look, they've got one of the masks in there. It's like a face shield. Got those um, respirator pickaxes. Respirator things. Yeah. That bit looks. Like it could be an asbestos hazard. So if we can get back in. So he steps in. 
Oh, it's fresh air. Oh, it's outside. Oh, okay. It smells really Okay, bad. so we're in the asbestos hazard or whatever. We're in the asbestos hazard. Probably hey, I'm, you know what? I'm just I'm watching at the moment on Netflix uh, Vamp Wars or V Wars. I think it's a vampire thing. Basically, it starts off. They get infected by vampires because they go to this um, Arctic research facility and they get exposed to the airborne toxins which turns them into a vampire and I'm getting the same kind of vibe here. Bro, you see the size of that pit? Oh yeah! Oh shit, hey guys, guys, what? we can cut through here to this staircase. Hey, pick it up, you look just like Dopey. <laughs> you know, one of them uh, Snow White <laughs> Seven Dwarves. What, Vamp Wars? Is it Vamp Wars? No, you're thinking, you're thinking of Doom. No, like the strain or something. It's, it's the strain Are you sure you're not thinking about Doom where they go to Mars? No. And it's got, the, it's got the rock, it's got Dwayne Johnson in it. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Now that looks weird down there. Why does that look strange? I don't know what they've done in here, but watch yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Right, this was where the banging was coming from. This was definitely where the banging was coming from. So we've been doing a lot of stuff in this laboratory. Yeah, but watch out, they're quite slippery those. Well, it contains asbestos. Air filters for gas masks. Also. Oh, cleaning. Laboratory <laughs> cleaning. This is a trip. Okay, in the next bit, we're going to have to crawl down and... There's oh, oh, that smells so bad. What is that? Do you just oh, smell that? It's coming from in here. What was this room? Oh, that's an ionide. Is it ionide? That smell. So ionide, you know when you uh, they put on you before uh, operations? Mm. That's what that is, look, it's on the floor as well. It's a very strong Yeah, that's what this was. So there must have been this this must have been some kind of testing in here. I'm pretty sure it's ionide that they put on you before an operation, the orange stuff. What's in there? Another one, it looks just like oh. They all do look, look the same. I'm, I'm reading the signs, I need to find out what's going on here. What's these signs here? General Prep Lab. Hey. General P Prep Lab. Warning toxic hazard, acid hazard. Yeah. They could even be still acid in that. Residual right? hazard. It's got a residual hazard wherever it is. Warning toxic hazard. Warning acid. Contaminated with in those um, those beakers, you know, and sort of like salt containers, filters at the bottom. Oh, they're filled with whatever. They're filled with some, right? Like what, what, the hell, what the hell is that? It's still filled with solution of some sort, and it says it's toxic. I don't know why I'm getting this Stranger Things vibe from here as well. I feel nervous being stood there and that stuff. Everyone, read, read any notices you find, anything. No, yeah, Danny's just on the floor. I don't know what Danny's doing on the floor. <laughs> Ah, this one's a bigger one. There's got to be some on the walls we can Boston find. Here. We're looking for clues right now. Clues to what they were doing. 
as a layout of the, the corridor maybe. Some sort of filter system there. We shouldn't be splitting up, that's how horror movies start. Yeah. Gaseous hydrides monitoring system. Ah uh, yeah, this I think this this is how they test chemicals and stuff, they put it into this. Is that what it is? Yeah, and they've got like uh, Yeah, so what they'll do is they'll they'll take they'll take samples and they'll place it into uh, an area on here somewhere. Pretty sure that's what it is. Gives you a DERA is a uh, defence equipment research or something. DERA. Really? Yeah. DERA. I've got a feeling. Isn't DERA United States? Analysis of automation limited. It's got to be something to do with that. Yeah, I'm sure you put it in somewhere. Probably in there or I don't know. There seems to be a lot more stuff down in this part that's got something to do with the sealed off areas. It's definitely more stuff Matt, down here. Should we be in here? I don't know, maybe they sealed it off not for asbestos, that was the excuse, but maybe there's another reason. Maybe there's, you know... I've got a maybe, feeling we shouldn't be in here. Maybe there's something down here, like some sort of virus or chemicals have been tested and they're just like, we're not sure about this one just yet, so yeah. don't come in here. I hope that's Andrew. I don't, we don't know where they've gone. Yeah. I hope that light's them. They've gone downstairs. They've made, it, they've made a lot of work distance in a short space of time. Yeah. Strange pipes up and down there. Nothing down there. Empty rooms. Right. Empty rooms. They've got, they've got gantry walkways here where you look down from above. What do you think this is for? Oh, wait a minute. Shh. Oh, wait a minute. Generator's full on. Is that open? Crap, it's good the hell out of me. Well, you've been crawling through that airport. <sighs> they always say it sounds like the generators are stolen though. Well, there's something on in that box. Yeah. The door's going to slam shut in a minute. The back where we were before, the last time we came in here, like, you can walk around all up there, and then you can actually, if you were, it's crazy that you could slide through the vents. Yeah, maybe not. Right you'd have to you can see where the cable monkeys have been nicking all the copper. Ventilation equipment has been taken out of here. So we gotta watch out. Yeah, so this is a super labs. Only God knows what well only God and the government knows what was going on down here. No, it's um that floor stuff that raises up. There would have been ventilation through the floor. Uh, probably sucked out of the Well, I mean, there's got, there has to have been, there's some kind of life was being worked on in here because look, they've got drip bags. Yeah. Wait, you found drip bags? Yeah. So there was. They were testing on things. Whatever was being tested here was a living organism because there's, there's drip bags, bags there. Now you notice as well that there's holes in the floor. So what you'd have is you'd have air would come up through here and you get this in. in um, Operating theatres as well. Air comes up through there and then it comes out through the ceiling. See the filters there? Yeah. So it either goes one way or the other, but it's basically to make sure that you've always got clean air around you. Yeah. And yeah. then as a secondary precaution, you've got the, the lab equipment, which will be down here, which has also sucked the air away from that as well. This is a sterile operating room. Operating room? Yeah. This is a sterile operating room. Where did it say that? 
That's what he just said. Yes, yeah, that is the same as you, what you get is the air comes through clean from the top of the building, like from here, it comes down or up. You see, this is a vent here. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it's always constantly moving clean air past you, and as a secondary precaution, in here you have the vent chambers, which are also sucking inwards continuously, so you never ever get anything. More drip bags. Yeah. Always to keep the air away from the person who's working on the stuff. This is double security. Yeah. Uh, right, I kind of do. It's starting to really give off an Area 51 vibe all of a sudden. Definitely. That's yeah. what I was thinking when I walked in there. Yep. Yeah. Am I being dead honest? Yep. Yeah. This feels like something we're doing. Somebody said to me Can operating we... instructions for ultrasonic baths. Yeah, for cleaning parts and things like that. Got these bottle bags here too. Yeah, they're, they're, they're drip bags. Somebody said that they were for cleaning your eyes. If you really? have like um, stuff in your eyes. Stuff in your eyes, yeah. But somebody was asking me to try and get evidence of when they were last operating in this place. It's dates. If you see a date on something. Well, it's normally it should have last tested dates. And yeah. We'll be honest. I'm getting so light out of here. Okay. And the company that was trying to sell them is called. Go Industry Dovebid. G O Industry, one word. Dovebid, oh. one word. Go D Industry Dovebid. Oh. D -D -E. Yeah. And this is lot EU 159482. This chamber here is part of that. What did you find, Danny? Some massive machine called Box Savior. You haven't found the ale thing, though, right? Okay. Never seen anything like that before. A microscope of some sort. I mean, look at all the, the tables in and out here, all the pin ports. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. I think it is a, is it a microscope? It looks like a super microscope. For testing uh, molecules. Do, do that look at the molecules. Like some sort of gun or, or camera or something. It's up there, that looks like some sort of camera. What in God's name? You know how much this thing is probably worth? <laughs> Could be an electron microscope. Have yeah. you guys noticed those windows? They've got bars on them, like viewing windows. Like very highly secured viewing windows. They've got like three levels of bars. There's also an evacuation alarm over there. I never saw this last time I was here and we walked all the way through here. Oh, well, isn't it? A what? Yeah. It says intercom units throughout ET lab. ET lab, extraterrestrial lab. ET lab. Is this an extra. Out what is back there? Oh, look at this. Look how secure that is. It's got bars in it. What were they trying to keep in or out? Wow, this is weird. Just tell us what we look like now from the other side. Yeah, it's good. You stand there, Danny, and see what you can see. Yeah, it is, isn't it? This is like, can you imagine if there was actually an alien in this room and there were people looking at it through there? Maybe. Why would it have to have different coloured gel? Mm. Maybe it couldn't handle... It's almost soundproof. Yeah, almost soundproof. I can hear the echo coming from that way. Yeah, but with the doors closed, you'd be quite... Yeah, you wouldn't hear anything, yeah. Well, look, 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 look. The but phone is an intercom from one oh, side yeah. of the room oh, to the other. It, is. It's it was segregate, segregated. Oh, so it's just, you know... They... Whoa. This is just getting weirder. Dude, I think... Mad place, isn't it? I'm not going to jump to conclusions, but, but I'm actually starting to worry. What if there actually is an alien in here? Oh, Just dead serious, like walking around <laughs> loose. There uh, was an alien in here. Maybe it got away and they decided to shut the place down. Yeah, and like you say, it's still running around. They've got some weird gadgets on here, you know. What the hell is that thing there? Oh, I found one of these in your mom's bedroom once. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that gives an indication of when it was last used because it looks a floppy disk. <laughs> no, it wasn't the one in his mum's bedroom, that one was over 9,000. <laughs> so. yeah. Wait, what is that? Oh, wow, what, what does it do? What's its changes, purpose? You know like your, um, your uh, coat that changes colour? Yeah. yeah. It's like that. You put one colour in one side, you get a different colour out the other. Different, oh. co different coloured light. I've never seen anything like that though. Wow. That is weird. Dichroic glass. They use oh. them in uh, li stage lights and projection lights and things like that. They use them in pr video projectors. 
dichroic glass, yeah. But that's probably worth a bit of money's worth because that's that's a huge piece of glass there. Come on, boys. Um, there's the buildings over there, so they can probably... Oh, is that the outside? Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. The buildings with a few lights on over there, so... Right, let's watch out. Yeah. Turn your lights out, let's build the open sides right there. I told you there's something going on here. It's like it's spinning down. But everything's ripped apart. It's spinning down. It smells, yeah, it smells weird in here. So after we've come out, that's spinning down. That's weird. Why is it going to different revolutions? Something's obviously telling it what speed to go at, some controller somewhere. It's Telling you, but there's no lights That's on it. That's what I mean, there's no it. power. Well, there must be power on in here somewhere, because that isn't going by itself. That's definitely. There's power, you've got, there's power in some parts of these buildings. It smells weird in there, though. It smells awful. Yeah, but one of the machines are on. Hmm. It smells like stale, stale, dirty water. Yeah. Right now, we're just going through all these different buildings. Oh, it goes downstairs. What? Space age little. Uh, Oh wow. Ah, so you're in a spacecraft or something? That's weird, just be careful of the walkway bro. That is freaky isn't it? Yeah I don't trust that like, walkway. You don't? <laughs> no. no it's fine. There's, a, solid. there's a basement or something. It goes it's pretty solid, it's alright. Walk, yeah, up, the, walk up is such no, a I'm freaky experience with your lights. Yeah, it's it's what we're done. Totally solid. Yeah. Alright. Right, this is... Um, uh, fiber optics. Fiber optics. There's a doctor's office in here. Really? Yeah. Well, this looks like it is a medical facility. Mm. Kitchen, maybe, or lab, lab pre preparation or something. Oh, anti gravity. Oh, oh. oh are you floating away? Oh, oh. bloody hell. Alright, we're out of the buildings. And this is the next one, we're still trying to find this bunker. Yeah. Put the racks, get the boxes. Oh wow. Really hard case storage. That's router equipment, is it? Hello, what is it? RF Wellington, Air Warfare Centre. Warfare Centre. What's happening? Belkin. Belkin's normally an internet server. Yeah, but what's that? What's happening? Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god, it's one of those things. Like, it's like a bloody um, 24. Show us how, how you did it. This is for like, and this is coming from an Air Warfare Centre. Air Warfare Centre. Air Warfare. Centre. Air warfare. Like, Log in. Log in. Missile drop. Missile silo one. <laughs> what the heck? That is nuts. I've never actually seen one of these. Box one of four. So what do you think they kept in this? This looks like it was explosives or something. Mm -hmm. This is Air, Air Warfare Centre RAF Waddington. RAF Waddington? Waddington. Where yeah, this is all equipment belonging to RAF Waddington here. Yeah? So this is like uh, possible you know, things to connect you to, to bloody, you know, military systems. Drones or anything. Why is this actually the bunker? So. This has got to be a bunker, look at that. Oh, I hope so. Oh, oh wow, okay, I see that oh. now. Now he sees. Now he sees. Oh, look, and it looks, look. In front guard Perfectly course, working course. mechanism, Whoa. and light as a feather to you. That is fickle. Uh, holy crap, I think this might be it. This is different. Though, you know, sure could go while we're in it. Yeah. That'll be a heavy duty. That that'll take the toes off. You've got to push the handle in, yeah. and then turn the handle. Testing room. So this is a chamber between it, between, and they are testing in here to see whether or not signals get out of this
highly secure. The, yeah, they're all they're all big, heavy duty blast doors. If they were to release these bunkers around the country, would they be able to shield against EMP? Would they be able to shield against gas? Were they, you know, they test different equipment basically. It's a test bed. Yeah. And once they decide, that was weird. That was some the door slammed or something out there then. That's too big and heavy, surely. And it was open when we came there. Huh? Could be the wind, it's fairly wind. Oh look, it's moving. Oh, it's the wind that's blowing the door. Fox systems with the card swipes and everything. Only if it's still open. Fire exit. Does it go around? Inform guard force. Is that what you were looking for? Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is the rotating door. Rotating door security bunker. I can't get in there though. though. This air opens. Right. Yeah. Around this way. This is only to test you, so you can probably walk behind it. I would imagine. Oh wow. Can you walk behind it? Wow. Okay. Let's just start. A bit more exciting. What's it yours? There are rooms made for people, but for locking people into them. There will be a bunker somewhere in the United Kingdom that is a replica of this, and they will be planning war. This is where they avert war, plan war, and negotiate. It's where it all goes down, and something that looks just like this. And on a higher level, you can stand above and look down. Then. What did I miss? Uh, the war room? The Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Oh, the mother load. It's the mother load. Look. It's a war room. It is a literal war room with over gantries, probably cells. Is that what you think they are? But they open from the inside. Well, I don't know, but you look from the inside out, don't you? Look. Look at that. It's like maybe it's for medical stuff. Yeah, but look, they've got a push button from the inside so you can open it. I don't know, Can't yeah. be Excel. Wait, well, it might be a bedroom. It, it could be a secure conference room or something. I mean, it, it is a secure conference room, to be honest. Because well, the other one, there's desks and chairs. Hold on, when you shut it from. Oh. Yeah, but when you shut it from that side. Yeah, you can get out, can't you? You can open it from both ways. Ah, but, but you can put a pin through. You can put a pin through there, and then you can't open it. Once you go through there, you put a pin, pin, that won't open. All right, and that's so. what, to lock other people in? Well, this one's not fitted to actually accept the pin, but in the finished ones, they probably have it so that, you know, there, there'll be a catch. Yeah, When you put yeah. it through there, that's the locking mechanism. Very similar to what you get in um, freezer places. I was about know? to say, big free industrial freezers. Industrial freezers, yeah. Right, we just left the bunker. Uh, we're on the roof. Yeah, it's freezing. Let's get. I think we're done here now, boys. We've seen near enough everything. There's nothing really else. It's getting super windy, super cold. Let's get back to the car. I if we're allowed to actually film this, but these, this is the working base next door. The satellite dishes and stuff. This is the new base next door. Satellite stuff, and there's a, a rotating mobile radar satellite dish hidden inside that rubber rubber dome on the back of the trolley. Really? Ah, the road actually used to come in here, but it's uh, obviously not been used for years. Now it's blocked off, so they can't get this way. But I wonder what goes on inside there. Well, the night's not over. We're just checking into the hotel, and we're heading on our next explore. Oh, it's been a tiring day. But I was squeezing the left, left logs. Just want food. I want 
Mm. My fluffy thing. <laughs> Last time we was in LA together, we was in France and you was cracking no, gay jokes. I actually put it in my video today. I'm not going down with you, mate. <laughs> I mean, in the lift. Right, I need to go to reception. Oh, I need to. I need to go to reception. Cause to complain about my sink. Oh, yeah, my sink's yeah. got all this crap coming out of it. Oh, what you say? It's one up in it. Yeah. So I had a problem with the sink. They give us the next room, but like Andrew said, being in the gang, everyone just follows. Everyone just follows me everywhere. I get in the lift. Everyone comes with me. So does that mean you got a free room? I could stay here tonight, couldn't I? In the other room. Oh, I've got. Oh. He said. He said, make sure you give me the card back. Yeah. I've got two cards. Mm. I've got two cards. Yeah, forget. <laughs> you Wait, where are you, where are you guys going? Honestly, you'd think after three years of non-stop filming, always using Travelodge, you'd think they'd sponsor us in some way, or at least give us a discount. Travelodge, come on. I'm always shouting you out. What do you think, guys? It was yeah, 25 definitely. quid. I don't know how much more of a discount I'm making dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. Free breakfast in the morning. Free breakfast okay, for yeah. the crew. Nice That's sausage. It. Yeah, I'll take that. Dan, I reckon they should be paying you now. They should be paying you for the sponsorship, you know. I mean, to be honest, here, like. they've, they've done us a good service as Travel Lodge in the past. I ain't complaining. Drop the card the cards off. Obviously, the guys followed me. <laughs> That's how you do it. You know, you, you know, you get them RPG games. You get the RPG games, and everyone follows you around. Well, that's what it's kind of like. Oh, We're you're in the party. Road. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're in the party. We're party. <laughs> Transmission. Well, don't you gonna break the elevator? It'd be a 24-hour lift log then. <laughs> Better refuel in action before we head out to another video. Uh, we are heading to an, another military base, underground bunker. Uh, so many wartime uh, artifacts in this bunker, it's unreal. Get ready, guys. We're going underground. Let's go. Get the trance on. We're ready. Let's go. Off to underground bunker. Go, go, go! Soldiers, go!